Welcome to part two of my adventure where I'm trying to drive this 1956 Buick Special from Texas, 1200 miles all the way back to Minnesota. I'm less than 300 miles in and I've already got issues. That's great. Today we're going to try to patch it up, keep heading north to Tulsa, Oklahoma, to the heart of Route 66 Auto Museum. It should be pretty mind bodily So I'm back in Bogota, Texas again this morning. The guys at the Restored YouTube channel are kind enough to let me use their shop and their lift. Yeah, yesterday we had this up here and we discovered a lower radiator hose. She was leaking and, you know, I fixed it with some tape, but it's leaking again this morning, so we gotta fix that. And then the business side of a wheelie, drinker side wheel bearing is out, but I can't find that yet. So we're just gonna keep nursing it. So today we're just gonna quick drain the radiator, try to swap this hose, and I just got some universal ones, which I just remembered I left in the car. So I guess I gotta find a ladder now. And hopefully one of those will fit. Otherwise we'll just cut it and take a piece of pipe like this or that or something and splice in a little chunk and that might get me a little bit farther down the road, but I gotta hustle here because that museum closes and I'm gonna be cutting it really close, so. Old hose is out and this is where it's leaking. That was the bottom there. And then also she was rubbing, getting really thin right here. So that's something I'm gonna have to take a look at. Did you try one in there yet or? No, nah, not yet. Well, basically we're going from, should be, kind of a gentle swoop, but this little hump right here, and we just got these flexi dabbers. So I'm talking to him. He's doing all the work, thankfully. <laughs> that might be too long too, huh? Yeah, I'll grab that other one. So hopefully I got a shorter one than that. I didn't really know what, nope. So, give me a few minutes. I'm gonna try to wrestle this in there. I don't know if it's gonna go. We might have to splice that old one, but this one's really soft. But at least now that I got it out, I know what I'm, what I'm aiming for. Well, we got that in there. She's a little tight. Kind of has a little bit of a kink up here, but it's not bad. And then Lance cut this up for me out of an old hose, and we put that in there to keep it from rubbing. And then I gave her 700 foot-pounds till that snapped off. So I think, I think that's good. And we did notice the brake master is leaking pretty darn good. So I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. We'll just, uh, you know, worry about that later. I did check the rear end and I didn't even get the plug all the way out and oil started coming out. So she's good and full. And I think that's basically all I got time for if we're going to get to that museum in time. So I'm going to drop this thing back down, throw the little parts I got left in the car, and just start heading north to see what happens. I'm going to try to reuse some of this. This funnel's got a little filter in it. It's actually for gas, but works really well for coolant too. Well, I did just give the timing little smidge of advance and it really liked it enough I had to back to idle down a little bit but it's running a lot smoother I think we're ready just to hit the road again a big thank you to the guys over at the restored YouTube channel for letting me use their shop and tools and lift and I spilled stuff everywhere to be honest so a big thank you to them but let's just stab this thing on the highway and see if we can get to where is it again Tulsa I think so it's north
this museum actually closes in like 10 minutes and I'm 30 some minutes away. I called them and the lady's really sweet. She said she'll hang out for a couple extra minutes for me. I've been pushing this car way too hard today. And basically it's been getting hot. Just stopped at the stoplight, took off, and it started vapor locking on me. Um, feel really bad for this old girl, but I'm just pushing it, trying to get some good content for you guys. This museum is supposed to be really, really cool. So we're getting pretty close. Looks like we got about 27 more miles, something like that, 20 miles. And then uh, I'll walk you through this place and we'll probably just have to go find the heavy hitters quick and I'll get you guys what I can. Well, I made it with minutes to spare. Definitely something going on with the car, but we'll deal with that in a minute. Let's get in here and check this place out. So they are closing down right now. I tried to get through as much as I can. There's a whole lot more here to see, but I just didn't make it. If you're in the area, definitely swing through here. There's a lot of neat stuff in here for sure. Let's see if we can go figure out what's going on with this car. I, I already backed the timing off. That's the only thing that I changed and it's still overheating. So, and that gauge is old. It's like an Equius or something. I'm not really sure if that's accurate. Probably gonna start at the easiest stuff. Thermostat, I don't know if it's got a 160 or a 180. And they came off the assembly line with the 160, unless you were in cold weather, then they gave you the 180. 
otherwise it's just it's probably just getting pushed a little too hard i think i need to fix that tack and see what i'm singing it at because that's probably the issue nope so let's go find a oh 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 advanced i don't think that's right i unlocked your door okay i don't know if you can hear it nope you can't i've also developed a super super annoying exhaust leak right on the captain's side and that's gonna drive me bonkers just been letting it sit here and idle and i'm already at 220 so something's going on it might be that little kink i got in that lower rad hose as well dang it not sure how i can relax that or if i even can i did find the thermostat in the gasket uh, about a half hour from here so let's head there i want to eliminate that first and then we'll start working down the list. But that's the only thing I changed was the timing and the fuel adjustments I made isn't gonna do anything because that's on the idle circuit. Why are these buses so loud? Sure is nice today though. It's vapor locking again. A little bit better. Just gotta keep working it comes out of it but that tells me that temp gauge is probably accurate if it's getting that hot and that fuel comes right in front of that head over there and i'm wondering if i can get something to you know wrap around that a couple seven zip ties or something should be able to patch that up but i gotta fix this heating issue because i ain't gonna make it another how far is it home 900 miles or something I don't even want to look. Ooh, KFC. This Honda sounds like a Husqvarna chainsaw. Made it to the parts store. A couple random thoughts. I have now driven this car on just this trip more miles than I have collectively in my entire life of owning it. I have also spent more money driving 17 feet into Oklahoma in tolls than I have in fuel on this entire trip. I also noticed that I got my first crack in the steering wheel and I don't know why, it just happened. So you could say things are just, they're looking up. We're here, you know. I'm gonna get a glove because I'm gonna burn my hand. Maybe check for a wheel bearing again. What else was I gonna get? There was something, wire I think. I'm gonna hook up this tack. And the rest will come to me. I need some water so I can pour on that rad, get it cooled down so you don't pull the cap off. And there goes the eyebrows. Brake juice, that was the other one. Anyway, I don't have a plan, but here's the sequence of events that a guy wants to happen. I'm gonna stop and get some fuel and I'm gonna see if it boiled off any ice cube juice since I got it up to 714 degrees. Top it off if need be. And now I'm gonna slow her way back down to 50, 55 again. I booked a motel in Missouri, Joplin. I don't know if that's real. And that's 120 miles from here. And I'm gonna shut her down for tonight. That way in the morning, the engine is in 1,320 degrees Celsius. Thanks, man. And then uh, I'll be able to adjust that hose if need be, if we'll change the thermostat. They did have a 160 in here. And do some other things, not really sure. Basically, I'm just procrastinating. And I just, I've been, I'm driving, what, well, this feels like six days now. And I'm not even halfway home or anything. I don't even, am I in Oklahoma still? They do fly a lot of flags here though. Bless them. Made it nine feet, vapor locked. So, let's see if we can get it started. That's fine. They don't always need to run, I guess. Well, it's gonna be a while. At least the sun's on my back. So I think this is my issue is this right here is just getting really hot from the head. And then also this line down here that's rubbing against the belt. 
It's also pretty hot and it doesn't really feel like, it says fuel vapor. I don't know. Might need to replace this too. Used to be a hard line into that, not sure what happened. And then this is really hot as well. So while it's cooling, I think what a guy's gonna do is just walk back to the parts store. Two blocks, three blocks. Get some of that insulation stuff, you know. We'll wrap that up. And I'm sure I forgot something else. Got a Z28. This here is, look how hot this is getting. But this isn't even supposed to be on here. This is sprinkler pipe for your yard or something. That's fine, I'll just leave that. But yeah, she's hot. And then when I come back, maybe I can move that. Otherwise we can deal with it in the morning. And then the exhaust leak, I think it might be the donut gasket because I'm not really seeing anything up here, but Moses, is that annoying? I tell you what. Well, I did the math. And if I keep up this rate, it smells like vanilla. I won't be home for nine days. Which means I think I'll miss Thanksgiving. That can't happen. Guy needs his stuff in laser engraving. Anyway, I think I see the sign coming up, finally. Got some Firemaker jump box. It was on sale. This battery's about down. I don't have any fuel coming out of this even when I crank on it. Could I be out of fuel? Maybe. So I took this off and primed on her and for the first time in a long time I ingested some gas. Wrong pipe. And now my eardrum burns which seems acceptable for the circumstances. So I'm gonna prime it, spray some back through this, get the pump juiced up again to see if we can pull some and get this fired up and then that jump box is just in case because this is about done for. Maybe I should have brought cables too. That would have been smart. Yeah, too late now. The guy feels that's as primed as she's going to get. Maybe. Maybe. Come on, girl. That was a brow wipe, but I've got a cap to song. Well, I'm just gonna slam this hood and suppose we should get gas, it's bent off in the orange. I think that means it's low. Then however many 700 million miles I said I had left. This is just, it's fun. You should explore the country in a classic car, basically. It's just the best time ever.
Well, we made it, just pulled in. The wheel bearing that I was really trying to ignore just basically yelled at me. It was making some horrendous noises. So tomorrow, gonna probably have to jack up the front end. I've got a heating issue that's still not going away. Whole host of issues, but I'm not quite sure what to do. I'm too far in it now to turn around. Maybe halfway, probably not. But I think that's gonna do it for part two of the adventure. Please stay tuned for part three. Should be coming pretty soon. Am I gonna make it back? I don't know. We'll just, we'll have to just see.